morning guys and welcome to day 29 of the 31 days to motivate. I can't believe we've made it this far. I'm so excited and I'm really pumped about this. So before I get into today's video, make sure you've watched the previous videos um, and also you've liked and subscribed to this channel so you get the bell notification when these bad boys go up and future videos because I'm really enjoying these. All right guys, so let's go ahead and get today's video started. All right, so on today's 29th video, we are going to be talking about protecting your energy. Since we are saying goodbye to 2021 and hello to 2020 or 2020 and saying hello to 2021, goodness, let's not say hello again um, to 2020. <laughs> um, we want to start this year off on the best foot possible and finish this current year on the best note possible. So basically you may be thinking to yourself, what are you talking about? Let's start with the definition. Energy is defined as the strength and vitality necessary for performing physical and mental tasks. And it's a very popular topic because I feel using technology and being connected constantly to the world around us, whether it be social media or news, whatever, or having to work tele through telecommunication, um, we are drained by the end of the day. I can tell you, um, most people I come in contact with, clients, whomever, and myself included, training virtually is definitely, it's fun and it has its benefits. I love being able to do this during this time, but being on a screen is taxing. So um, ways that we can do this, ways that we can protect our energy going forward, I have a few tips for us. So number one is control the stress in your life. Notice how I didn't say limit because if 2020 has taught us anything, we cannot limit what life throws at us, but what we can do is control our response. And that is something that I feel like I'm getting a little bit more skilled at, not necessarily having a five alarm fire every time something goes horrifically wrong. Um, obviously there is going to be levels to this depending on the stress, but making sure that you feel the negative or the, the stress and understand and process it before you react right away will help you to control the stress within your life. And there are obviously ways to do this. Um, and basically I'm going to just number two would be lighten your load, lighten your load when you're feeling drained talk to people, ask for help, reach out, see what you can limit, what is not necessary as for right now to sustain you, and then see if you, other people within this realm or if there are other people involved in the things that are stressing you out, talk to them about it and see if they can help you lighten your load. And I mean, community always benefits people. We've talked about this. Um, it just helps to know that you're not alone. You're definitely not alone during times of stress, you just have to reach out for help. So lighten your load when things are feeling bad, when you're starting to feel depleted. That's another tip for you. Number three, my tip to help you boost your energy would be to exercise. Duh, that's a no brainer. I know I'm sure everybody's sick of me telling them exercise and eat well, but it's truly how you boost your energy and get your game on for the rest of your day, especially when life is throwing you curveballs all freaking day long. I can be the guinea pig for that. I can definitely testimonial right here. Um, if it wasn't for a daily exercise practice, I really don't know where I'd be as far as my men mental state um, and balancing all the things that 2020 has sent my way. So exercise also benefits sleep, which in turn benefits your mental, physical, and energy levels. So definitely, definitely get your exercise in, even if it's a 30-minute workout of walking or stretching, whatever you've got on your plate, just take it, take it. Give to yourself, people. Okay, so that was number three. Number four is limit your negative exposure. So limit the people that are draining your energy. Make sure you're not draining your energy with the thoughts and things that are in your head because we've talked about this too in previous videos. And also limit negative, quote unquote, negative behaviors. I'm not going to label anybody, but behaviors as in your alcohol consumption, 
um, your smoking habits, anything like excessive caffeine that you're taking into your body that are not actually giving your body energy. They're just depleting it um, and draining it further. Alcohol dehydrates you. Smoking obviously just warps your DNA, can cause cancer and all sorts of stuff. And then overuse and caffeine also dehydrates you and causes your body to crash. And we're trying to boost our energy, not tear it down. So basically hydrate and stay away from all of that garbage. <laughs> Again, I'm not labeling anybody if you partake in this. Um, make sure you're not draining yourself. Keep your mindset in check. Listen to audiobooks that fill you up or podcasts or meditations, things that we've talked about. Emily does some great stuff with her meditations that she's done. I loved her self-love meditation. I think it's wonderful. I think, you know, any practice that's going to build up your energy, of course, and reset your mindset is going to, again, benefit you and your energy. Another tip, refocus your energy. When you're finding that your thoughts are kind of consumed by negative thoughts or negative news or whatever, really try and take a step back. Even if you need to write it down or discuss it with someone, refocus your thoughts and really get some perspective on them. Are these true things that you're telling yourself or are they just built-in behaviors that are helping you respond to some already crap situations? Number, I don't even know what number it is, but... <laughs> Okay, so I'm clearly not good at numbers today, but choose productivity. So when you're feeling drained, you should definitely recharge yourself. Do not get me wrong. Do all of the above that I've listed. But if you can accomplish one small task that makes you feel productive, it can help to boost your energy and make you feel more accomplished. In turn, there's a reward system there. Um, so choose whatever little productive thing that you can do that day, get it done, be proud of yourself and then move on. Another tip for you, cause I cannot remember the number <laughs> would be seek out people with the mindset that you're seeking to have. If you're feeling very negative or low energy, seek out people that you want to emulate follow them on Instagram, Facebook, whatever, reach out to them in a text message, a letter, a, an email, whatever, and really seek them out, seek out their advice, or just listen to their words of wisdom because on a bad day, they definitely can lift you up. Okay. So with that all being said, I hope you take away a little bit of tips that can help you benefit your energy, conserve some for the future and enjoy the time that you have and the body that you're in and of course, give it rest when it needs it. All right, guys, so I hope you're feeling productive today. I hope you're feeling high energy. If not, you know what to do, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video, guys, for day 30. Bye-bye.